we all know that homemade compost is far superior to anything you can buy. But a lot of people are put off from having compost bins for the fear of attracting rats. In this episode, I'm going to give you six proven tips that will prevent rats from taking up residency in your compost bin at home. I'm Tony O'Neill and this is Simplify Gardening. I understand your reluctance in having a compost heap due to rats and the risk of leptospirosis, otherwise known as Wheels disease. Now, before I give you those tips though, I think it's important that we understand why rats will infest your compost heaps in the first place. Rats invade your compost bins for four main reasons. Reason number one is that rats are looking for somewhere they can live undisturbed, where they can live and raise their young, somewhere that people rarely touch. And compost heaps are perfect for this because people just stay away from them. They go there occasionally and then they come back to them as and when. Reason number two, Rats move into compost bins because they're looking for food. Now, compost bins, they tend to house lots of different food varieties that rats can eat. Now, for a rat, this is perfect because it's like moving into an apartment with room service. Reason number three, compost heaps create heat and therefore that helps the rats keep warm and helps them from wasting energy in trying to keep warm so they can utilize all the food they're eating by putting weight on and feeding more young. And reason number four, rats, well they use compost bins for security because even as a gardener if you were to go and empty that compost bin it gives the rats plenty of time to escape through some sort of burrow they've created to that compost bin because it would take you a bit of time to empty that bin in which time they're long gone. So as you can see just like us, rats, they're looking for somewhere safe to live, somewhere they can call home, put food on the table, bring up their children and live a happy life, just like us. So now let's look at some of the tips where we can prevent these rats from moving into your compost in the first place. Tip number one. The location that you choose for putting your compost bins is of paramount importance because the location will mean the difference of whether or not it becomes a rat run or whether or not they'll stay away from it. Now most people, they'll pick an area of the garden that doesn't get used, somewhere that's shaded or up against a fence or a tree or even a shed or something like that, something that's out of the way that isn't unsightly. Now this allows the rats to create rat runs around the garden that's not normally occupied and you'd be better off placing your compost bins somewhere out in the open where there is nothing around them and they can't hide. Now, if you've had rats before, place the compost bin on a hard standing, something like a patio or a concrete pad, because this will prevent rats from burrowing up into your compost bin. And the hard standing, they don't like running around them, they're too open. Tip number two. Now, the style of the compost bin that you have can make all the difference as well. Now, these Dalek style bins that I have here, well, they are all made of plastic and they're ideal for um, uh, putting compost in because we can forget about these quite easily. We lift open the lid, we throw our scraps in the top, put the lid back on and walk away. And that's about as much as we do with them. And the issue with these is they're made of plastic so they're really good at keeping the elements out and they'll keep the heat in. And because we're only putting the scraps in the top, we're not disturbing the compost in there. And usually you will find a rat run around the back of these types of bins if you're not in them. So they're a perfect breeding place for the likes of rats. Now they come in all shapes and sizes. They get square ones and these Dalek style type. Um, it doesn't really matter. Now compost bins can be made from pallets like these. And if you are making them from pallets, it's a really good idea to have solid sides, whether that's from like hardboard or plywood, something like that, or like I have here, plastic sides. However, when you're making pallet bins like this and you want to enclose the sides, don't fully enclose them because what they will do is allow light and air 
to move around the palate itself. And that's two things that rats absolutely hate. Now a surefire way to prevent rats would be to use a rotary composter. This is like a drum on a stand that you rotate. And because it's lifted up off the floor, um, rats can't get into it and it's a sealed unit. Especially if you clean up any scraps that you drop on the floor. The only downside to these units is the lack of compost that you can produce because you're very limited in the size of the compost bins for turning. Tip number three, human intervention. Now, when you're building and setting up your compost base, set it out somewhere that people are walking by constantly, be somewhere near a path, because what that will do is there will be human activity around and rats don't like this. If they know that someone's gonna be passing back and forth, all they want is a quiet location, somewhere that they can be undisturbed. And that isn't gonna be the compost bin if you're walking past it all the time. So it's an ideal area to place against a path. And turning your compost regularly will help because this churns up the compost and the rats will know that it's been disturbed and they're less likely to nest in that as well. Now, I understand, like myself, I don't turn my compost a lot. I turn it once and that's after I initially build the pile. Once it's cooled down, I turn it again. So by that point, um, rats aren't in it. But because of all the other things that I'm doing as well, then rats don't take up residence in my compost bays. Tip number four. Now, when adding ingredients to your compost bin, you should break them down as small as possible because the smaller those ingredients are, the quicker they rot down into compost and they're less likely to attract rats. Kitchen scraps are fine to add to your compost, but don't add anything that's been pre-cooked or any fish or meat, because the smells from these is like ringing a dinner bell to a rat. Now, if you want to learn exactly what you can and can't put into your compost, I have a dedicated video on composting that's a full in-depth guide, and you can view that right here after you've watched this video. Tip number five, when making your compost, it's important to keep plenty of water in the compost so that there's enough moisture for the composting process. Now, if you're doing this, well, that's going to help keep rats out of the compost because rats want somewhere warm and dry in which to raise their young. So by ensuring that your compost has adequate moisture, then you're more likely to put the rats off and ensure that they choose another location for their nest. Tip number six, remove clutter from around the compost area. As you can see here, I've dumped a load of stuff and it's not staying here. It's only been dumped here temporary, but this provides perfect hiding places for rats in which they can use as a little rat run to the compost bins. Now, if I was to leave these here, this would be perfect for rats because they can hide behind it and then help themselves into my compost bin. Anything can be used to hide behind. So whether it's buckets, layers of glass, a board, a log, some rocks, anything like that, clear it. The clearer the area, the less likely you are to allow rats into your compost bins. Okay, so as you can see, I am now inside one of my bays. This is one I emptied on an earlier video that you can see. And as you can see, there are no holes right away around this. And that's because behind you is open and the rats won't come in here because of all the reasons that we've already spoken about in the last six tips. But this is a perfect way. Now these compost bays have been here for two years and we have used them constantly and we've never had a rat in them. Now just because you want to add nutrient dense compost to your garden doesn't mean you have to put up with rats. I make around about nine ton of compost every single year and I have no issues with rats so ever. And I'm on a community garden that people really just don't care about. So if I can do it, you can do it at home. If you've got value from this video, you can subscribe here. And then when you've done that, if you want to learn how to make the best rat-free compost that you can get, then this is the next video that you should watch. I'm Tony O'Neill, and this is Simplified Gardening, where I show you how to garden in a simpler way. Remember, folks, you reap what you sow, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.